Terry Smith has been referred to as the English Warren Buffett. His fund, Fundsmith, has achieved an astonishing combined annual growth rate of over 15% since its launch in 2010. In this video, we will explore his major tips for successful investing. Smith is a frequent media contributor and has written for a number of outlets, including a regular column for the Financial Times. He is also the best-selling author of the book Investing for Growth. Smith is a keen history buff, particularly in military history, and he led a campaign to erect a statue of New Zealander Sir Keith Park on the 4th Plinth in Trafalgar Square. This was in recognition of Sir Keith's work as commander of the Number 11 Group during the Battle of Britain. In recognition of Smith's efforts, he was appointed a member of the New Zealand Order of Merit in 2012 for services to New Zealand and United Kingdom relations. We will be outlining seven investing tips that Terry Smith uses. The first is Invest in companies with wide moats. A successful company earning a lot of cash will come under attack from competitors. That is why it is important for a company to have a wide moat. For more information on moats, please see the video on understanding the five company moats. Wide moat stocks have a superior service or product which rivals can't replicate. Coca-Cola is a great example of a wide moat company. It has a powerful, ubiquitous, international brand. And Warren Buffett has said, if you gave me a hundred billion and said, take away the soft drink leadership of Coca-Cola in the world, I'd give it back to you and say, it can't be done. Investing tip number two. Strong organic growth is a must. Organic growth is the most preferred source of growth. In an organic growth strategy, a business utilizes all of its resources without the need to borrow debt to expand its operations and grow the company. Organic growth is typically marked by an increase in output, greater efficiency and speed with production, higher revenue and improved cash flow. Terry Smith seeks companies who manage to grow organically over the past years and preferably over the past decades. Investing tip number three. Invest in companies with a high return on invested capital. Warren Buffett says, the ideal business is one that earns very high returns on capital and keeps using lots of capital at those high returns that becomes a compounding machine. The higher the return on invested capital of a company, the better. Return on invested capital is the rate of return a business makes on the cash it invests in itself each year. It essentially measures how effectively a company uses the money invested in its operations. A high return on invested capital means the management team are deploying capital well. A rule of thumb is that companies with a high return on invested capital will usually have a strong moat. Investing tip number four. Revenue growth will drive value creation. Eventually the stock price will follow the revenue and free cash flow growth of a company. Each year a company will report revenue from sales and we want to see a consistent track record of increasing sales. Investing tip number five. Buy companies who translate most earnings into free cash flow. Earnings are an opinion. Cash is a fact. Free cash flow tells us if the company's cash is aligned to profits or if the profits are paper only. When a company is generating cash, it has the following options to use it. One, reinvest in the business, therefore strengthening operations or market position. Two, acquisitions and share buybacks. So the acquisition can be either buying another company 
or buying back shares if the share price is below the intrinsic value. And three, dividends. So it can return capital to shareholders if there is an absence of value creating alternatives. Investing tip number six, be disciplined. When you invest in stocks, one thing is for sure, you will underperform the market from time to time. No rider has ever won all stages of the Tour de France. The same principle is valid in the stock market. Always stick to your investment philosophy and strategy. Investing is a marathon, not a sprint. Investing tip number seven, do nothing. This is because trading too much harms your investment results. Be disciplined and don't trade too much. Use the process known as buy right and stick tight. There you have it. The investing wisdom and tips of Terry Smith. By utilising these tips, we can all become better investors.